first time I successfully turned my GoPro on while moving <laughs> with my left hand, which is kind of hard to do because I'm right handed. But I've seen this, uh, what seems to be a blonde driving an old school pickup truck. So I'm not going to say a hot blonde because I haven't got on the side yet. But even though it's pretty, when you see an old school truck, you know, I had to turn the camera on. I had to turn the camera on for this old school Chevy. I actually know a couple guys who have trucks like this. So it's always good to see a classic like this rolling down the street. You know, it's an old lady. But she's still clean. I like the truck. Uh -oh. Nice, got the white little tires. In pretty good shape just another day i actually wasn't even gonna go down this street people i was gonna turn down a different direction but then i seen the old school truck got a little excited and kept on going straight i don't know man um i'm starting to shy away from cars more and more i'm really loving this you know bike life i mean i've always loved this bike life but it's getting harder and harder to have the same, catch the same feeling about these uh, cars as I do about the bikes. Until I see an old school. When I see something real old, like from the 50s, 60s or 50s, that excites me because that's the year. I've never had anything from them years, you know. Uh, I've had a lot of cars from the 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, all the way up. But this, um, I'm trying to think of the oldest car. I think the oldest car I've ever had was my 73. Uh, yeah, 1973 is the oldest. Oh, come on, please go to this yellow. Thank you. I was just hoping this guy didn't slam on his brakes. Anyway, uh, the oldest car pass is uh, 1973. So anything uh, 69 or older always uh, interests me because I've never had anything that old before. So when I see something like that road on the street, I had to turn on the old GoPro. But yeah, ain't, ain't much going on today. Just another boring ride to work. Uh, I try not to really, I don't really turn my camera on all the time when I'm driving to work. I do have it hooked to my helmet just in case something uh, exciting happens. But I don't really have it on. I don't really like the moto vlog uh, on my way to work because then at the end, I don't want a bunch of videos with uh, all the same, you know, the same route, the same background. So I don't know, I just try to mix it up a little bit. But today is Thursday. Um, Barry Jackson starts in two days. So I'm going to try to keep this... Uh, I actually should have brought my big camera because... You know, when Barry Jackson comes to town, you start seeing a lot of old school cars. <laughs> it's funny to me. People think, you know... People have these old school cars. They're not really Barrett Jackson quality cars, but you know, it's all good. But what's funny to me is they don't drive them all year round. Like, they just, they just sit there. But the week that Barrett Jackson comes to town, everybody wants to drive their classic car. They think somebody, I guess in their mind, they're thinking somebody from uh, that's here for Barrett Jackson is going to be just like riding around and I see them out in their classic car and offer them, offer them some... Uh, crazy amounts of money for it like oh i gotta have it that's not the way it works <laughs> but you know whatever gets these old schools back out on the road i still like seeing them for the week you, you do see i do see a lot of classic cars here I, I i come across classic cars all the time especially working where i work but you know you just don't you see a lot more of them it's sort of like during bike week how everybody's a you know everybody's a biker during bike week but then once bike week is over uh, their bike goes back in the garage and the cover goes back over it and it just collects dust. And I should have downshifted, but I didn't. And why is this light red? There's nobody here. Okay. I always hate this. I don't want to go. Like, it's just so awkward. It's like, what do you do? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Two days before the Barrett Jackson 
blown around on the mean streets of Scottsdale, Arizona. That Beamer uh, needs a little dent repair there. You know, it's funny when I do these videos, you know, because I'm on my bike, I, I kind of got to stay focused and stay pay attention to what I'm doing. But, come on. Uh, but, what was I saying? Oh, I gotta stay focused on what I'm doing. But I, when I'm editing the videos, I get to watch, like, see all the little detail stuff that I, you know, normally wouldn't look at because I'm in motion. And it amazes me. There was one video I had. Well, I don't even know if I was even talking about nothing, but it just seemed like every car I pulled that pulled along the side of me at a stoplight uh, had some kind of dent in it, ding, bing, crush, or something. It was just always just like a whole just like a motor vlog full of beat up cars, and I just I was like I didn't even notice it until after I edited the video. I just thought that was kind of interesting. Every time I see something like this, I just want to like jump it, you know, <laughs> like Mission Impossible style. Just, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But like every time I see like something like that, where it's like a trailer, uh, almost like a ramp style trailer, I just want to just jump it, even though I know I can't. Oh. I'm not saying it can't be done, but I know I can't do it. My skill level <laughs> ain't uh, high enough to do nothing like that, you know. Oh, what we got here? Hardscapes, a little free advertisement. This actually looks pretty nice. I wish I had that in my backyard. I wonder if this guy ever got in a rear end accident people trying to check out this tailgate. Not tomorrow. LED lights in the front of that bumper there. I like the little Jeep Wranglers. I've always wanted a Jeep Wrangler myself. I've never gotten my hands on one. Uh, I think I've always wanted a Jeep Wrangler because that's what MacGyver drove. I remember MacGyver had like a silver, uh, silver grayish Jeep Wrangler. And ever since I've seen his, I've always, I don't know why, when I was a kid, uh, my grandma used to watch MacGyver. I used to watch it with her. I always thought MacGyver was the coolest guy on earth when I was younger, you know, just because he could just, you know, make stuff out of nothing. And ever since that show, I always wanted that, uh, I always wanted that Jeep. I might get one one day. I'd almost, uh, I love the four-door Jeeps. They are kind of pricey, though, for, at the end of the day, it is still a Jeep. But now, I don't know how it is where you live in Arizona I mean I just see so many so many four-door Jeeps it almost makes me want a two-door and it kind of helps me out because the two doors are a lot cheaper than the four doors but the only thing about the Jeep I think I want the hard top though I don't want the whole uh, soft top thing because I mean even with the hard top you can still take it off so I don't know maybe one day just uh, one of them things is on my long list of automotive bucket list My automotive bucket list of the cars I want to uh, own before I die. I don't know, people. I don't know about this car stuff, man. I've been thinking about uh, the cars, the, the, the vehicles I have in my possession now. I really like these vehicles. And I don't really want to get rid of them. But there is a certain vehicle that I've always wanted that I have not, I have yet to get my hands on. Uh, I'm not going to speak on it, what the vehicle is, uh, because I don't know if I can get it or not. And, and just for the, for the last, like, you know, I'd say a few years, it's just been so, for the last several years, this vehicle has been so far out of my reach. But, you know, that's why they call it a dream vehicle, you know. Uh, so then, I don't know, I just got to ask myself, you know,
should could can here's the question here's the thing here's the crossword and the, the crossroads i'm at and the dilemma i'm at now is my dream vehicle is so far out of my reach in order for me to even have a halfway chance you know, that's just a halfway chance of getting my hands on my dream vehicle i would have to sell my caprice i would have to sell my el camino i would have to sell both of my cutlasses and, and that'd be about it there's no way i'm gonna sell my motorcycles but i pretty much have to sell all my cars and just put it all in one car you know that's the dilemma i'm at uh for the past five years i've been you know just trying to build multiple vehicles at the same time and not really getting too far on either one of them or any of them because i'm trying to do just it's like i'm spreading myself too thin you know i'm trying to do too much but in the back of my mind i know deep down in my heart i know if i get rid of all my cars and just have one badass car and use my motorcycle as a daily driver and just have one badass car to do everything in uh one badass old school then i, I think that'd be the that should be the most smartest logical game plan but the problem is is do i really want it my dream car bad enough to get rid of the cars every car i got now that i really like and is was really you know, it was hard for me to get my hands on so that is the dilemma so i don't know whether i'm going to keep all my cars or go after my dream car